Do you have a hard time sleeping in your RV? We're Ben and Rebecca of His and Hers Alaska. We're going to share a few tips with you that we've learned to get a better night's sleep in your RV. First of all, we're not the only ones that sleep in this bed. There's Remy and there's Shelby. I'm going to give you the best tip and trick first. This is to make your bed four to six inches longer. So I went to that craft store Joann's and picked up some foam. Now you don't need to buy like a five foot section of foam. I literally, I think I only got 18 inches of foam here because it was four inch thick foam and I had them cut it in six inch strips and I glued it together to create this bed extender. So here's how it works. A little easier without dogs on the bed. Every night we will pull it out, stuff this into the gap, snug it back up. You got four more inches of bed. And if you're over six feet tall, that is priceless space. And then in the morning when it's time to make the bed, we simply pull it up, give the mattress a little slide back, and it could even double as a little bit of a pillow bed rest. Along that same concept of the foam for the back, we had this gap here and it didn't fall into nothing. There's carpet down here, but we got more foam and put it right there. So yeah, it's not bed, but it is definitely some extra space gained. We're not the handiest people with sewing machines. We can hold our own, but I think time got the better of us and we just took a old sheet and old pillowcases and safety pinned them on and hey it works for now and i think it's probably going to work for a very long time for us and also while i'm down here i'm going to share with you how we charge our phones when we're out boondocking a big annoyance for us was that we would have to leave our phones all the way up in the front of the motorhome at night to charge so i tapped into this uh, light actually and i ran the wires wasn't hard and I put a 12 volt power socket right here. So now we can charge our phones at night and we have them on both sides of the bed. And lastly, remotes always have a way of getting lost. So the remote for our TV in here has Velcro on it, sticks right there. Then we also ordered a magazine rack here for my bedside because uh, there was one that came with the motorhome over there. And this is great. I'll store laptops in here and just it's great storage. What you're actually laying on is pretty important too. So we figured out a few things to make the mattress more comfortable and we've upgraded the mattress actually. When we bought the motorhome, it had one of those not very special four inch foam mattresses. Not cool. So we spent about $250, ordered something on Amazon. Honestly, if we're gonna do it again, there's a one that's about $400 that has memory foam and we probably would just upgrade to that. This one's great, it's a significant improvement, but we do have, because we have under bed storage and the um, frame actually lifts up, we do have a hinge right about chest level for Ben and he can actually feel the hinges underneath the bed sometimes still. What you put on top of the mattress is important too. And so one of the problems we've always had is that since this is a short queen, queen sized sheets don't quite fit. So they slip off because there's not enough tension. What we've done to remedy that is to actually buy a pair of men's suspenders. We have those bright red ones. So what you do is you take each of the four corners and attach one portion of the suspenders and then it holds them tight. It makes it so the sheets are taut on your bed and they don't fall off. So in the morning you don't wake up in a big ball of sheets. The other thing we figured out was that if you can get lightweight materials to put on top of your bed, you're a lot more comfortable. We're not giving up warmth. We use a fleece blanket and then a quilt, but they're really lightweight and it's much more comfortable than a heavy quilt or a comforter that then if you get hot, there's no place to put it without it weighing down on your feet at the end of the bed. This might be because we have puppy dogs who end up getting on the bed with us, but we also did find that getting king-sized blankets and comforters really made a huge difference in our comfort factor because we're not pulling and pulling so that we get 
more than just the edge of a blanket. Does your RV have a window at the very back right above your head? Ours did too. Does. <laughs> And the problem that we experienced, I don't think that it's unique to Alaska because anywhere that you have temperature shifts, you're going to develop condensation inside of your RV. But what would happen for us, especially if it was cold outside and warm in here, was that water would condensate on the windows, come down to the bottom, and get caught in this little lip. And when the lip got full of water, it'd spill over and get our pillows and our mattress wet, which you can imagine is not a good formula in an RV. You're just asking for mold. So what we did was take the Reflectix that we already used to block out sunlight and keep in warmth, put it up in the window, and then this is an Alaska trick. At home, we use this plastic material. You can buy it at any hardware store, Home Depot, that kind of place. And it's the type where you use the blow dryer and seal it tight to the window. And it just creates enough of a barrier that we don't get water here anymore. It stays warmer inside of our bedroom. And we don't wake up in the morning to condensation running down the walls above our head. Well, we hope that this helps you get a better night's sleep. We're sure that it helps Remington get a better night's sleep. This old boy is conked out right here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow our adventures. Share with your friends. Give us a thumbs up. But most importantly, enjoy the ride.